Hey guys, happy 2017. This is Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a grocery haul, largely from Aldi, but I have a few items at the end I'll be showing from Kroger. I'll also be sharing my meal plan for the week. And just FYI, I am following the Whole30 again for the month of January. I was successful in doing so in 2016 and I'm going to go ahead and give it another go. So largely my meals are going to be mainly Whole30 focused, but you don't have to be on the Whole30 to enjoy those meals. If you're interested in learning more about that, I will talk about it at the end of this video. But for now, let's just dive on into the haul. Okay, so the first item I bought from Aldi, I was pretty surprised about because I've never seen this there. I have no idea if this is a brand new item, but this is the Northern Catch Pole and Line Sustainably Caught Skipjack Tuna. This was actually only 99 cents, so I'm curious to see what it tastes like. I'm not expecting it to taste as uh, non-fishy as albacore tuna might. However, I'm excited about the sustainably caught part because usually pole and line tunas are maybe $3 a can, maybe more, maybe just slightly less. So I bought quite a few cans. I'm going to go ahead and give those a go. Another item that is Whole30 compliant, meaning there's no sugar or some other things on the list, are the Simple Nature Organic Marinara and the Tomato Basil Pasta Sauces. Unlike a lot of tomato sauces, these don't have any corn syrup or any other form of sugar. Also bought some mushrooms. I might be putting that into omelets or soups this week. Some cilantro. I have a couple leftover avocados. I'll be making some guacamole. Uh, some cucumbers. I'll be having these for lunches some zucchini. I'll probably also be having this for lunch and be putting this into a vegetable soup, kind of like a minestrone. Needed to stock up on some yellow onions, so got those. Some green peppers, also again for breakfast, for omelets. Some red grapes, my favorite. That's a staple in our household. And this was kind of a splurge. This is a bag of snap peas. I think this was over $2 a bag. And snap peas, especially at this time of the year, can be kind of expensive. I bought some asparagus as well. Some Roma tomatoes, love these with eggs in the morning. And I'm going to go ahead and give these another go. These are the Pure Aqua Bella V Sparkling Waters. These are dupes for LaCroix. And I think they're pretty good. This one is the lemon version. Um, compared to LaCroix though, LaCroix I can drink straight up. Usually whether it's LaCroix or the Aldi dupe, I, it definitely has to be cold. This one though is definitely better with ice if you're curious. Also needed to stock up on some potatoes, so bought this big bag. And this medium salsa, the Casa Mamita brand from Aldi in the medium is not Whole30 compliant, just FYI, because there's sugar in here, but this is for the hubby. And just FYI, one thing I discovered last year related to Mexican food, specifically in the pre-made taco mixes, the spices, a lot of them have sugar in them. So just make sure to look at the back of your packets. It's actually not too hard to make your own taco mix from stuff that you might already have at home. Some bananas. I ended up getting the organic this time just because they were the only ones that looked green. And I bought these. I already opened it for the gym this morning. And as you can see in the back there, we have some leftover bananas we'll be finishing in the next couple days and our leftover oranges. This side is all Kroger stuff. So I have some Brussels sprouts. These definitely are cheaper at Aldi, but I knew I had some already. Um, some kale greens some romaine hearts those are a staple usually if i don't get the artisan lettuce from aldi and some simple truth brown eggs um, and in the pot there i just showed you so i had boiled some chicken that i had left over frozen in the freezer and i'll be using that for meals this week but before i go too far into the whole 30 let me just show you what we'll be having so sunday and monday i have some spaghetti squash that I've already made, and that's gonna be with some turkey marinara. Tuesday will be almond chicken strips from chicken I have in the freezer. 
I use the Simple Truth Almond Flour along with this. It works really well. Wednesday we'll be doing baked potatoes with veggies on tap. And then both Tuesday and Wednesday we'll be having some kale salad on the side. Thursday will be tuna lettuce wraps. This I'll probably make into a buffalo tuna lettuce wraps. All it is is adding some hot sauce to the tuna. Make sure that the hot sauce doesn't have any sugar in it because yes, believe it or not, some hot sauce has sugar in it. And then Friday and Saturday will be kind of a minestrone. There's not going to be any beans in there, um, but it's going to be zucchini, tomato sauce, carrot, celery, uh, and some shredded chicken from that boiled chicken I just showed you. So essentially it's kind of like a vegetable soup with a little bit of meat. So in regards to the Whole30, it is a nutrition plan in which you can detox from some of the stuff that may be affecting your body. So that might be sugar, it might be gluten. There's a whole big list and all of the information is available for free on their website. I am not paid by them at all, but I really like their program. You can follow Melissa Hartwig on Snapchat. She kind of has this dry sense of humor, but I, I adore her actually. And there's also an officially Whole30 that you can follow on Snapchat. Um, and you could be, do it for 30 days, you could do it for more, but at minimum 30 days is what they recommend. And at the end of 30 days, you slowly reintroduce some stuff into your diet that may be affecting you. So what I had discovered last year was that sugar is definitely a uh, problem for me. I discovered when I slowly reintroduced sugar at the end that, wow, I really have this big like sugar dragon that is very, very difficult to get over. So even having just a little bit is enough to make me feel weird. I make me feel tired because it drives my insulin up. Uh, it makes me feel not as mentally acute, you know, so there's all sorts of things. Um, and eventually, yes, I will be doing a Whole30 video. It's been, it's taken me forever. Um, I've been promising it for a long time now. Um, but if you're just getting started and you just want to know the very, very basics of what I'm doing, go ahead and read the website. And if you're looking for any tips, probably the biggest tip that I have uh, without doing an official Whole30 video is preparation, preparation, preparation. Especially when you're really stressed out and you're trying to get your, you know, your regular life things done, you know, taking care of your kids, taking care of work, your house, your, your spouse, etc. Um, it can be very, very easy to go off the Whole30 because the Whole30 can be very difficult if you're not prepared and making foods in advance, making plans in advance. And seeing this um, calendar of what you might feel is great because it kind of prepares you mentally. And really the mental preparation for me is what helps a lot. And when I can psych myself up, really I can do anything, you know. So um, as far as what I do, typically breakfast usually consists of an omelet with veggies or I'll just have tomatoes with eggs. Uh, I might put a little bit of coconut aminos on there. That's something you could buy online or in a lot of health food stores. It's usually maybe $3 a bottle. Um, just kind of like a typical soy sauce bottle. It tastes like soy sauce, but a little bit sweeter. For lunches, I typically do salads or baked potatoes, or I might do some roast veggies. Uh, and for dinner is what is like what I showed you. So yes, that is it for this meal plan and grocery haul for the week. I know I kind of went over the Whole30 super quickly, so if you're confused, sincerely, I recommend reading the website because it's just a few pages that you print out and I keep it in my journal just to remind me of what to do. It'll seem very strict at first, but what I would do if you were interested is read about it and then plan in advance, um, maybe for the following week or the next few weeks to start it. And it might not be something that everybody could do at this moment, and that's totally understandable. Um, but if you find yourself interested, I would say go ahead and go for it but make sure that you do some of the preparation and some of the reading first. If you want to get the books, I would recommend looking at the library. It might be difficult right now because I'm sure there'll be a lot of people doing New Year's resolutions, um, but you might still be able to find the books. That's where I found them originally and then I ended up buying them on Amazon when they went on sale.
So anyway, I hope everybody has a wonderful new year. And one question that I have for you, which I will post earlier in the video as text, just in case um, you might have missed it because you didn't want to hear about the whole 30, is I was wondering for grocery hauls and meal plans, do you prefer to see them on Saturdays, Sundays, or Mondays? Uh, I was just curious, which day of the week works best for you? If it doesn't really matter, you know, just let me know it doesn't really matter, but please don't be afraid to tell me which day of the week is preferable, and I will try my best to schedule it that way. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and take care.